Alrighty, so this is some awesome different news. Um, Bethesda's joining onto Microsoft. Well, it's buying Zenimax and um, the rest of their companies. So they're joining the Xbox family. Now, will this mean for the future of Bethesda games that they'll be Microsoft exclusive as an Xbox and PC only? Might be, because there's not much they can really do with PlayStation. Um, I... Uh, the mods are kind of like play, uh, fucking Sony won't let them mod um, custom assets into Skyrim um, even the Xbox have more content on Oblivion they had the houses that you could buy that were like for certain classes like a warrior or an assassin or a thief or a mage that you couldn't get on the Playstation so Pete Hines has announced that Bethesda is joining Xbox which is joining Microsoft Today, today we announced that we are doing the Microsoft Family press release below. And if you haven't had a chance to read what Phil Spencer and Todd Howard shared in their post this morning, be sure to check out both. Uh, when you work at a place as long as I've worked at Bethesda, just a month or short of 21 years, you see some things. Chief among them, change. Chief among them is change. When I started Bethesda, there was not much more than a handful of people. The team, or shut the fuck up, phone. <laughs> Working on, Morrow, working on Morrowind to fit a couple of offices, and there were probably six or seven, uh, six or seven are spread across everything else. Bethesda Softworks, our parent company, Zenimax Media, and our many internal studios now employ thousands of talented people working in published, publishing offices and development studios around the world. We've gone from one international studio to many, from a focus on single-player fantasy RPGs and development of massive MMO. First person shooters, everything in between, this Fallout Online, <clears throat> and the world <laughs> uh, industry and the company has changed a lot in the last 34 years since Bethesda Softworks was first founded. Today, it changed again. And I know that brings up questions, but for the key points, it's, we're still Bethesda. We're still working on the same games we were yesterday, made by the same studios we worked with for years. And those games will still be published by us. So, why the change? Because it will allow us to make even better games moving forward. Microsoft is an incredible partner and offers access to resources that will make us better publishers and developers. We believe that means better games for our, uh, for you to play. Simply put, we believe that change is an important part of getting better. We believe in pushing ourselves to be better, to innovate, to grow. Fucking, this is some PR bullshit right here. Uh, here we go. And how, how much do I got to fucking read? Oh my fucking god. I wasn't really that good at school. Uh, uh, and we have a long history of working with Microsoft. Our companies share many of the same basic principles. We believe in a culture that values passion, quality, collabor collaboration, and innovation. When I think back to the first time we decided to shift from being PC-only development and make Morrowind for the original Xbox, it was a move that countless people said would never work. Nobody on consoles wanted to game that big and complex, but Microsoft believed in us, and so did you. And now RPGs of all shapes and sizes are usually successful on consoles. So, pretty much... Um, Microsoft is acquiring Zenimax, this right here. And Zenimax is what owns Bethesda Publisher and Bethesda Game Studios. And of course, Elder Scrolls Online and Zenimax Game Studios. So Zenimax right here, media, controls everything else. Now the person that was running that the last time I checked was a lawyer that lost his law license because he fucking dabbled in fraud. So as you can see, Bethesda's gone down the shitter because of this fuckwit. Um, but I'm still making great role-playing games. They're not all that great there's a lot of corners that they fucking cut in all their games a lot in Skyrim I mean fucking Jesus Christ every corner was cut in Skyrim and then you get Fallout 70 uh, Fallout 4 <laughs> that was pretty much a, um, a Bioware copy to me you know a character with a backstory and a voice uh, dialogue wheel fucking consequences of companions and all that sort of stuff it just felt way too much like a Bioware game and then you had Fallout Online 76 which was a fucking colossal failure you know, didn't even really, man, once Todd said that everyone there was a player, I hit the fucking X button. I just went straight to this and went, boop, nope, fuck that, I'm out of here. 
Now, hopefully Microsoft can do some good, because they make some damn good games. Like, they make some pretty good games. And I'm hoping that Microsoft can kind of nudge them to have a few more studios or, or a few more people so we don't have to wait 20 years for another fucking Fallout game or another Skyrim game. Because it is Bethesda uh, Studios, newest three IPs. Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and whatever the fuck the new space one is. Um, have a look. Starfield. <laughs> no? That, Dishonored, Wolfenstein, and Doom, and that fucking thing, and that thing are all made by different studios that are under Bethesda um, Softworks Publisher and Zenimax. But the Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Starfield are by Bethesda Game Studios. So... It takes them around, fuck, now six years to release a game after the next one. Now, that, now, when you think about it, the mods that come out for it keep it alive, yes. But it's still too long, man. Adding another IP to the to the thing, like, it's going to be probably like 2030 by the time Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. Um, and probably 2040 before the next, uh, the next Fallout game comes out. So maybe Microsoft can do some serious good for Bethesda. And it's other studios I don't give two shits about. <laughs> um, maybe it could increase their workload, uh, put more staff on, and produce their games a little bit, you know, make sure their games are better, of course, but also get their games out a little bit quicker than naturally would with Zenimax running it, because, man, it's like, what? Fucking Skyrim itself has almost been out for 10 years. It hits 10 years, 2021. And there's been no other game after it. I mean... Yeah, you've got Elder Scrolls Online, but we want a single player that ex jumps onto the next story of Elder Scrolls. Um, and it's going to take, what, more than 15 years for it to come out? That's pretty fucked. You know, that is pretty fucked. And what does that say for the next Fallout game? Of course, fuck Fallout 76, it doesn't count. <laughs> and, you know, Starfield. Again, I'm a bit worried about Starfield because Bethesda isn't really good for making maps. And I don't mean like the shit maps. I mean they're scaled down. They're tiny. Like it takes you what ten minutes to run from one side of the map to the other. To where they're going into a space map, which is you know space. It's fucking massive. So I don't know if they're gonna work that one. But this is good news. Um, I don't know if it's good news for PlayStation users. Uh, I myself a PlayStation, but I have a user PC. Um, it might only be Microsoft, you know, Xbox and PC exclusive, but that might do some good for Bethesda, they're having to waste their time on the PlayStation, which they can't really benefit from because, well, Sony doesn't fucking like Bethesda. <laughs> anyway, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, um, if you think this is a good change, if you're a console user, like if you're a PlayStation user and you're feeling like, oh shit, will I miss out, you've probably got plenty of time to get a fucking Xbox or a PC by the time the next Elder Scrolls game comes out, um, or the next whatever the fuck comes out. Anyway, I'll leave this one with here. Uh, fucking English just isn't working with me. English EXE has stopped working.